You may find this interesting. What you're going to see is a brick of forest moss from Exoterra. It actually comes in two pieces. This is just one of the bricks that comes in the package. And according to the label, it's collected in forests in Asia. It's not the same stuff that you get from New Zealand. It's not the same stuff that we collect here in the United States. But it comes in a different format in this compressed brick. And I think you'll find it interesting to watch this expand. When I do this, I'll do it in a sped up mode so it won't take so long. Now like I said, there's two bricks in each one of these packages. This is just one of them. I've already expanded the other one. It says on the instructions that it will make seven quarts in its fully expanded form. I didn't actually measure the last one. I'm not so sure that it made a full seven quarts. And the instructions call for one liter of water. I think I've probably got two liters in, of water in there just to make sure and during the process I may have to compress it down because it tends to have some dry spots on the top. So I've got the water in this plastic container. I put the brick in. You can just let it float but I like to make sure that it goes underneath the water so it gets soaked on the top as well. All right, that was 12 minutes, and it seems to get to a spot here where it doesn't suction up the water as well. But as you can see, the bottom is really dripping. So I'm turning it over to put the dry area on the bottom and see if that accelerates it the rest of the way. Okay, that was five more minutes and it really didn't expand a whole lot more. I'm just going to tip it on its side. And see if it will soak up some more of the water, expand a little bit more, then I'll flip it to the other side again. Okay, that was two more minutes on that side. I'll flip it one more time to the other side falling all apart obviously because it's pretty wet. Lost all of its square shape as well. Well that was another two and a half minutes there and as you can see the instructions must be pretty accurate because it did not absorb all the water. They suggest one liter. I put in perhaps two so about two and a half is, is what it actually absorbs. No big deal to have more water. I think that speeds up the process and then you just pour it away anyways. But at this point what I do is then we just take it out and you start to just fluff it up like this. And that's where you come up with the seven quarts of finished volume. If you were to put it in a five gallon bucket that was filled with water and just speed up the process, it would work just as fine. But what I would suggest is if it's waterlogged after that, don't squeeze it out and compress it. Because this stuff comes with a little bit of soil on the bottom of it. And when you compress it, it oozes that soil like mud through all the green parts of the moss. So I would suggest that you just fluff it up like this and then spread it out and use it wherever you're going to use it. 
there's one other reason that you do not want to soak this in water and then squeeze it out not only does it disperse the soil in through the green leaves of the moss but also when you compress it like this to squeeze out the water it never again quite regains its original consistency and you'll have a more of a matted moss than this fluffy green moss and it's much more usable if you can keep it fluffy like this because it allows air to get through there a little bit it doesn't get stagnant and of course the animals that use it can move through it as well.